We're here with Mia. She just finished the 3,000 meters on the first day of competition. Mia, how'd you feel? Um, I felt great, actually. It's, uh, it's an honor to be here and, and to race in Pyeongchang. And uh, first time, first competition on the ice. I was the first one to go. Um, so pressure on me, but uh, it was a solid race for the most part. There's obviously some uh, good and bad things to take from it. and. Um, but it makes uh, going into next year that much more driven. As you fun. said, you were the first one to go on the ice. Yep. What uh, what were your uh, thoughts of uh, you know the Gang Gang Oil uh, Oval? Um, it was a bit overwhelming, but you try and just stay within your race and and uh, work on on what you need to work on to produce the best race possible. Um, the crowd was actually pretty big out there, I wasn't expecting it. Um, so that helped, they had their bangers out there helping in each, uh, each corner. Um, but it's kind of surreal thinking that next year is the Olympics and they'll be here and uh, hopefully I'll be able to represent as well. You pretty much have a full slate this weekend. Uh, this was the first of five races for you. Uh, not a not a long turnaround until tomorrow is team pursuit. So what do you yeah. uh, what do you do for the next uh, less than 24 hours? Yeah, uh, luckily the races are all in the evening, um, so you get a good amount of buffer in between. Um, but full recovery, you know, you, you cool down as hard as you warm up, and uh, you know you you fuel yourself for the next day. Get some dinner in you, sleep well, sleep hard, and um, take one day at a time. 